Hey everyone, I'm Sudzuko, MOBA Division Director for Grievance, and I'm here today with a Smite God Guide for Arachne. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at her skills and synergy, cover some of the stats that you should be looking at when you are purchasing items for her, and uh, just in general get a look at how she plays. We are not going to be covering specific item builds, as those are are based on so many intricacies and factors that it's they just change so often uh, that we're not going to recommend any of those. However, if you are looking for a specific item build for Arachne, we can point you in the direction of some good guides that are available online or maybe even help talk you through an item build. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump into the practice jungle. We're going to choose Arachne here. Arachne. All right. <clears throat> and once we get in here, we're going to level her just enough to be able to access all of her abilities. And uh, we're going to take a look at her. The brood is All right. Ready. So let's go ahead and get her leveled up enough. Minions have spawned. Alright, and we'll pick up some items. I like the way you Alright, so let's take a look at Arachne. So anytime you're trying to learn how to play a god, you need to make sure that you go over everything that is on this this screen right here, your skill screen. Uh, take everything into consideration and how it all synergizes together. So Arachne's passive is called Predator. So Arachne's basic attacks gain 1.5% physical damage for every 5% of a target's missing health. So essentially the lower health her target is, the more damage she starts doing. So we're going to take a look at this. We're going to go over to one of our buff camps here. And we're going to clear out the small minions real quick. And then we're going to look at the damage she does to the big minion. Alright, so first one, 135, 143, 287, 307, 196. So some of those were crits, but you could see that as the target's health was going down, her damage was continually stronger. So her highest non-crit that we got there was 196, and that was compared to... Alright, so 165... That was a crit. 415, that was also a crit. Alright, so you can see that, like I said, as the target's health goes down, her damage goes up. This only affects herself. Her basic attack uh, deals uh, 38 plus 2.2 .2 over level, damage plus 100% of physical power, so it's going to scale based on physical power, and the progression is that her attacks do 50% uh, damage, 1 damage, and then 100% of damage. That's that's what that refers to. So, okay, let's take a look here. So she has a three attack progression. We're just gonna get rid of that. Let her reset real quick. Okay, so 483, 380, 415. Okay. All right. So taking a look at so nothing super special with her attacks. Uh, generally, with a character like her, an assassin. Um, you're just going to be auto-attacking your character, uh, your enemy, as much as possible. Alright, so her number one is called Venomous Bite. It is a stim ability. Uh, so essentially uh, what this does is it's, it's a effect. Um, so this says that Upon activation, Arachne's next basic attack within 5 seconds does additional damage and infects the target with Venom, dealing damage over time and healing Arachne every 5 seconds for 3 seconds. So, or every 0.5 seconds for 3 seconds. So you get 6 ticks of healing. And the stem ability just means that it's it soups her up. It gives her a, an effect that's going to... It, it's temporary. And this affects enemies and does physical damage. So we're going to take a look here. If we use her one. Mm. Alright, so we can see that that venom is kicking in and we are also getting some healing back from that. 
now. Looking at leveling this ability, uh, when you add for each point that you put into Venomous Bite, the damage goes up, the damage per tick goes up, and the healing per tick co goes up, as well as the cost of the ability going up and the cooldown going down. So all around you get a lot of value out of each point that you put into Venomous Bite. Her second ability is another stim ability that affects enemies. It's called Cocoon. So it says she spindles her webbing and her next three basic attacks are executed with increased attack speed for six seconds. If all three attacks hit the same target, that target is stunned. Now I think that we are going to kill this minion too fast, so what I'm going to do is go over to the uh, Gold Fury. And uh, I don't know if we'll be able to beat her at this level. We do have good items, uh, but we'll find out. So. What we're going to do here is we're going to use Cocoon, so our next three basic attacks will be uh, have increased attack speed, and if we hit all three of them, we will stun the target, so... No one escapes my web. I did not notice the stun there. Okay, the stun is only for 1.1 seconds at our current level, so not incredibly significant. One second stun is still, still pretty good, but... Okay, so that is her number two. And you can see that for each point that you put in, your attack speed goes up and the stun duration goes up, although not very significantly on the stun duration. And the cost stays the same and the cooldown stays the same. Her third ability is called Web. And this is a wall, which means that when you put it up, it will create a wall of some sort, as you can see here. Go ahead, and there's the wall. Okay. And this affects enemies and does physical damage. It says she spins a wall of web. Enemies who pass through the web are slowed, revealed to Arachne, and leave a trail of web behind them that increases her movement speed and makes her immune to slows. Breaking the web also spawns broodlings, which deal damage to nearby enemies. Arachne can only have two walls active at a time, and they have a lifespan of 240 seconds. So, let's see, we'll put up another wall here. Your time will Get these guys to chase us through the wall. And you can see that not only do we move faster on this, but we have these broodlings here that are attacking him. Alright, and then for each point that you put into web, the slow is increased, the movement speed that you gain is increased, you always have two broodlings, but the broodling damage goes up, the cost goes up, and the cooldown stays the same. So pretty good value on each point that you put into web as well. And then finally her ultimate ability is called Nightcrawler. This is a channeled ability, meaning that once activated, it'll last for a certain duration, as long as it's channeled. It affects enemies, does physical damage, and has a radius of 20. So it says she flips up to her infinite web, hanging upside down above the lane and increasing her movement speed. She may leap off the web to deal damage to all enemies in the targeted area. So we're going to go over to Ra, and we're going to use this on him. So you'll see that when we activate it, it's going to flip us up top, we gain increased movement speed, and we can drop down and deal damage in an air. Alright. And for each point that you put into Nightcrawler, you increase the damage done when you land. Uh, however, the duration and movement speed stay the same, the cost stays the same, but the cooldown does get reduced for each point as well. This is your ultimate ability, so you're going to want to put as many points into it as you can, as often as you can. So taking a look, um, these abilities, while not necessarily um, specifically synergizing together, uh, all can be used in combination together. Uh, so we have uh, Cocoon, which is basically an attack speed boost with a little uh, stun duration. You can obviously combo that with Venomous Bite. Um, to make your next basic attack attack, uh, do that uh, damage over time. 
Uh, so, I mean, those two can kind of combo together so that you can get a stun and a damage over time, and you get uh, some attacks in very rapidly. Um, you have your web, which uh, will allow you to... You can put it pretty far ahead of you. So let's say that, you know, Ra was running away from me. I could put the web... Basically, I could put the web in front of him when he's running, and then now I have the web that he's leaving behind to chase him on and catch up to him and do my auto attacks and kill him. And then obviously with the ultimate, uh, you can use that to chase as well or get away simply by getting that boosted movement speed. And then you also have that leap built in. So there's not a lot of specific synergy within her kit, but her kit is really designed to help you chase down uh, the enemy as well as inflict uh, some lasting damage to them. Uh, all around, she's a pretty good assassin with a very interesting and, in my opinion, unique kit. And generally, when you are focused on building her, uh, you're going to want to look into some cooldown reduction. Um, but primarily, you're going to want to focus on your physical power, as that's going to augment your basic attack damage, as well as your venomous bite and your ultimate and then probably some attack speed uh, so that you can attack your opponent faster. And that is the guide for Arachne. So if you're looking for specific item builds or anything like that, once again, feel free to, uh, to contact me and I will direct you towards some uh, good resources on the web. And uh, I hope that this guide helps you uh, get involved with Arachne and enjoy playing her even more. I will see you on the next God Guide.